discuss the, the different formulas, the when, and how you uh, how you make more of a plan and, and spread your time out more evenly across the, all things involving your team. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk to you about what we've done as at the Lot Motorsports, of course, to uh, uh, to become a successful team. We've had multiple Grand National Championships. We've won every major event we could in, in the class. Done it with uh, with less horsepower and and more of a game plan than than anybody thought could be possible. So you know when we started this, it was it was you're never going to make that six cylinder beat the V8. Bullshit. We did it. Did it more than once. Do we love pulling against Terry and Josh? Absolutely. It's more fun than anything in life. Uh, and they love to beat us as much as we love to beat them. But we still have a plan when we go to the track. So, so everybody says, well, how do you do it? Well, money helps. You know, Earl Wells has given us the right budget. You know, and it's not an unlimited budget by no means. We, we spend it wisely. It all comes through our pocket before it goes to them. So uh, it is a great partnership to have with Earl Wells and John Strickland to to make this all work because they're definitely key partners in this because you know Earl assembles a team of different players and whatever he does and whatever business he's in to make the project successful. So we picked us and, and this is you know it's not been easy uh, but we've made it all work. So anyway um, starting at, at the beginning here this is what we show up with this is this is how we start each event right so this is years of data and then and, and no cheats that are empty for, for the next track. And I also take my fuel system drawer with me because it's got some different little tools for, for tune-up purposes in case something would change. But most of the time this gets shoved in the corner. I don't really care about that because the thing should already run when it gets there. Those things don't change instantly overnight. If it's working and the data is collected properly, you can monitor those things and they don't change overnight. So guys don't need to go to the track and say, oh, this is this and that is that. And it doesn't need to work that way. A turbocharged diesel engine doesn't function like a supercharged diesel engine or, or, or alcohol engine. Sorry. Anyway, we go to the track and we, we kind of go back to say we're going to go to uh, Benson, North Carolina. So in, in 2021, we go to Benson. We, we finish, uh, you know, whatever we finish, uh, second or third. And here's what we did, right? We, we go through the, the procedure and we, we mark, you know, different things on the sheet. And... You know, there's Louisville and, and all these places that we go pull out different tracks from different classes, and, and and we mark down where we put the weights at, where the tire pressure's at, what the fuel system settings are at, so we can timeline what we have in the system uh, at a certain point in time. And then if we made a change, we make a note for a change. Now this note system's evolved over the years with different types of setups and all that, but this is years and years and years of data. That, that has made it possible for us to gain success because there's times we just, we forget where we were at. And so we have to go back in there and look and say, okay, well, all right, I own New Michigan, which we don't pull out anymore. Here's what we did. We, we you know, we pulled this sled. The track was like, you know, a certain kind of consistency. Um, we ran a, a specific gear. We had the tires here. Well, from that time, to the next time we changed tires, we changed turbos. What do we need to adjust? Well, you're not going in blindly and thinking, golly, what do I do? You know, do I ask my competitor? Do I ask the guy sitting in the grandstand? No, we can go back here and say, all right, well, this is what we did before. Let's go back and make a, a smart decision and say, all right, we, we did this and this. Let's make a small change and see what happens. Sometimes it doesn't work. So we put that in our notes and say, okay, well, the next time we can we can make an adjustment. Point being is that, that you know, the more notes you take, the more data you collect, uh, you take, the more success we're going to be. We take this information, you know, uh, Joe Ferrandini is our note taker. He's, he's the, the penman of the, of the team. So he puts all this in here and he kind of, he's, he's standard. So he's the one that does it every time and, and makes sure the notes are clean and, and they're read the same way. Um, my job is sort of to take the race pack or fuel tech data logger data and put with the, uh, the notes. So we can correlate the two things and say, okay, well, the engine is going this. Here's where the fuel system's at. Here's where the drive shaft speed sensor says. Here's where the, the finish was at. All those things play into the fact, well, we didn't win. Why did we not win? Well, I was late on the throttle. John had to get on the brake to go, you know, keep him one out of bounds. So there's so many things that the data shows you to help you prepare better for the next time. And, and so anything you can do to plan your, your data system and your, your note-taking collection out is going to improve your chances of winning tenfold. 